Welcome to another 2T tutorial. Today, we are going to take a look at how we can review the performance and earnings of the apps that you have submitted and published. Actually, all this data is available on your dashboard in the performance stats and monetization pages. So let's take a look first at the performance stats. As usual, head over to the partner resources portal, sign in, and you'll be taken to the app list of your dashboard. From here, select the performance stats on the left menu, and you'll be able to view all your published apps. Now choose the app that you want to take a closer look at, click details, and this will give you an overview of the performance of that app. You'll see data and figures on users, stores, advertising if applicable, geographical data, devices on which your app is installed, and also transactions. Regarding transactions, it is important to note here that the data shown is the gross revenue received by the publishing channels. Your actual earnings will be after deduction of local admin charges for local store listing, payment gateways, taxes, and other handling fees. Now let's take a closer look at each piece of data. In the users section, you'll get data on new users in terms of devices activated, new devices, and new players. Then there's data on active users, user attention. In the top right corner, you can adjust the time period you want to view data for, so the past 30, 60, 90 days, or even customize the period to your own needs. Now in the store section, you'll get data on the different stores in terms of users and earnings. The advertising section will give you data on impression numbers, video plays, and click-through rate. The geo section shows you the data and proportion of users in each Chinese province. You can view this data on a map or in a chart in the table, and likewise for data on active users. In the devices section, you can see the various device models that your app is installed on, the screen resolutions of those devices, the various versions of Android they're running on, the methods of connection, various broadband and mobile operators. And the final section and arguably most intriguing section for you is transaction data. This shows you the total value of transactions, how many users have paid, and the frequencies of payment. So now that we have looked at everything under performance stats, let's move on to monetization. And the first thing you see is your account balance. This is displayed in both US dollars and in Chinese yuan. And just a few steps are needed to withdraw money and check previous records. So click withdraw to take out money and you can either take out the whole balance or you can specify amounts that you'd like to take out. But the minimum amount you must take is $100 and you must always have $10 in your account to keep it active. You can settle the amount through your bank account or your PayPal account. Usually for small amounts you would go for PayPal and large amounts through the bank. And once you have confirmed the amount to withdraw, double check that your bank or PayPal details are correct. This is a very important step as the wrong details will mean that the settlement will fail and you could be charged an admin cost for this. So once you have checked all the details, tick the verification box and click submit. And you'll see a summary of the settlement request that you have just made. So check the details once more, tick the agreement box and press confirm. To review previous settlements, go back to the monetization page and click on transaction records. All of the records are listed here and you can refresh the page for up-to-date data and also print out the details for your own accounting records. And that's all there is to performance stats and monetization. It's just that simple. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.